This is Kilo, and a viewer sent me an email of this model deadbolt on their front door, and they wanted to replace it, but they don't know how to remove the deadbolt. And this is very common with a lot of quick sets and even other brands, but I'm gonna show you guys on a bulk of quick sets how to remove it if it has no mounting screws. So the viewer asked if I could make a video explaining how it works so that way they can you know remove their old one and put on their new lock themselves and if you are a new locksmith new guys run across these and kind of are stumped for a minute and I'm gonna show you guys what to expect when you come across you know deadbolts like this one as well as a lot of smart locks uh, the deadbolts are pretty similar so this is actually the model from the photo the viewer sent in and this is the only one that I have as it was in a scrap bucket as I swapped out some locks one day a long time ago and this is just sitting here I basically break it down for parts if I ever need it it's just a whole bucket of old locks that if I need something I'll just take it off and what happens is you're gonna come up across this and this deadbolt is actually part of a set oftentimes that quick set sells. I believe they call it their Avalon combination set. It's this deadbolt and it usually comes with a thumb turn handle set, really fancy style deadbolt and handle set. And you'll get there and if you're a locksmith, you're going to look at it and say, oh, quick set, easy. And sometimes if you're a homeowner, you think the same thing. And then you look on the inside and there are no mounting screws. And on this one, as it was in a scrap bucket, as it's been toyed with and practiced on and everything, I don't know what happened to the thumb piece, but it's okay. So for you guys, when you get to these, and this is again on smart locks, a lot of quick sets, you're gonna say there's no mounting screws. So what you're gonna do is turn the thumb piece, you know, left or right or whichever way it's facing, you're going to turn it and look up from the bottom and right here you will see a little hole and inside of that is a little allen screw you're going to take your allen set and find the size that fits and go ahead and back out that screw and it's really really small so you're going to want to you know remove that and put it somewhere safe from there, once that is removed, you can remove the thumb piece and just set it right next to that screw. You can even turn it upside down and put the screw in it. Because if you lose that screw, you're never going to be able to put this back on. So this will be mounted to the door, but just to show you guys, this little, you know, cutaway, and it has this little slot, you can usually fit your fingernail in there and pry it right off and set it aside. And here are your mounting screws. So from here, you'll just like any other quick set, you'll go ahead and back these out. This back plate comes right off. From there, if this is on the door, this will slide right out. And then you can just go ahead and remove, you know, your screws here, remove the latch and put in your new one. If you're just rekeying it, it's just like every other quick set. You just remove these screws. This slides right out. You'll go ahead and rekey it like every other quick set deadbolt you've ever rekeyed. And from there, you'll go ahead and put it all back together. And once you have the screws back in place, you'll look and on the back plate, if you are rekeying this, if you're, you know, removing this to swap it out, I do recommend putting it back together. So definitely once you have this off, take everything off, put the latch back on, slide this back over, put the screws back in, and then it has this little cutout right here at the bottom and that will line up with this little notch right here at the bottom of the back plate. So what you'll do is you'll just line up that little cutaway and you just snap him right back in and he goes on. From there you would take your thumb piece, put it back right on, screw in the Allen screw and you are back in business and it's all back together. and. You know, the customer's happy, it's re-keyed. Or if you're a homeowner, I suggest putting it back like this. And, you know, it's always good to have a backup if there's nothing wrong with the lock. 
you know, if you know you just wanted to switch this out for a different color, I would suggest you know hanging on to it in case anything happens to that lock. You'll always have a backup if you're a locksmith and you're replacing this for somebody and they don't want it. Kind of like in my situation here with this one, I throw it in a scrap pile where if I end up needing something for some reason, I do have all these pieces and parts that I can use. So just wanted to kind of show you guys how that works. Hopefully this helps you guys. And you know, like I said, if you guys are new, a lot of smart locks have the same design where you're gonna, you know, come to the inside and you might freak out for a second. You don't have to worry about it. You just gotta look, you know, for a screw as there's some, you know, it went on somehow. So all you gotta do is find that screw remove the thumb piece, pop off the plate, and you're back in business. So this is on a variety of different quick sets. So I just wanted to show you guys that for this example. And I just happened to have this model that they were working on in the email. So it worked out pretty perfectly. Hopefully, you know, this does help you guys. If it did, feel free to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you are new and you want to learn more about locksmithing, Feel free to subscribe to the channel and I hope you guys are staying safe. Good luck on your jobs and your projects and I hope you guys have a nice day.